What's up guys, Manicaster here, and today, hey look, we're back in Car Mechanic Simulator 2018. I figure I can't get enough of this game, and you guys seem to enjoy it. It does very well on this channel, I will say. Uh, so I figured, hey, why not? Let's just jump right back in Car Mechanic Simulator 2018. Now, I have no real plans for today. I figure we could just go barn hunting, maybe, uh, maybe go to the auction if we don't find anything cool there. Just see what we find. I think that would be cool. We've got a lot of barns we can choose from. Let's just, uh, let's go with, let's go with the top one here. Might as well. And here we are inside the barn and we've got a Mustang and it looks like a Charger. Not too bad, not too bad. I've already done pretty much a Charger and everybody does a Mustang. So maybe we try something else. I'm not too crazy about hunting parts in these. Uh, it's never really paid off real well for me. Maybe it does for others. You can see what's in this junk. Yeah, just like old old parts and stuff. I'm sure it works out. I've seen people where they'll take parts, refurbish them, and then sell them. Uh, not really at that part. You know, like for me, I've already kind of grinded through all that kind of stuff. So I'm just looking for the goods. I'm looking for cars. Let's, uh, let's try another one. Let's go for this barn. Let's see what we find in here. I oh, like the background noise in barns is so much louder. Okay, oh, now here we go. We got some what gas pumps here. That's cool. This is cool. It's like what a 32 Ford type of thing. Got a straight six and a 32 type Ford. Interesting. And speakers. <laughs> this was somebody's oopty. It's not bad. Kind of like it. And then we've got a uh, Mako style Corvette here. Hmm. I mean, I'm not over the moon for this thing, but at the same time, it's not terrible. What's the options for like, uh, no swap options for engines. So you're kind of stuck with this 161 horsepower. Oh, this is a mod. That's why I do have one or two mods in here. I think maybe three, not very many because it seems like so many of the, uh, YouTubers have modded the game to the point where it's hardly even the game anymore. So I only put a couple in. And it's only cars. There's no other mods that I have. But no, there's I know there's several other like garage type things. But yeah, I mean I'm not crazy about it. 32 Ford stock in line six. Uh, it's stock. They would have either had a flathead V8 or an inline four. And I want 12,930. Yeah, I'm not crazy about. It. I wonder if you could take the leave the fenders off. That would help. I don't know. Not, not crazy about it. I think we'll find something. We'll find something better. And right, let's see what we have in here. We have a, a Mustang. <laughs> and what do we got here? Is this like a Cadillac? Sure enough. Well, that's cool. This could be fun. Hmm. Let's get some info on this. So they call it a Luxor Bowen. We get a lot of options for engines. We could do supercharged. Thing looks a little rough from what we can see here. I know we can look a little close. They want 21720 for it. That's crazy money. But it is nice. Look at that. It's definitely modeled after a 66 Cadillac. It's got this straight up and down headlights. It's not the progressive forward that you found on the 67s. So I'm partial to that. I dig the 66 Cadillac. I actually used to own one. Uh, they're, they're land yachts, that's for sure. <laughs> I'm definitely digging on it. I say, let's buy it. Why not, right? Yes. Let's put it in the garage. Get to work. And here it is. It's actually not. It looks a lot better in here than it did uh, in there. Yeah, so it's modeled after a 66 Cadillac. It doesn't have the stacked headlights. It's got, I see what they did here. You know, they don't want to get sued. But uh, the be the rear end for sure. But yeah, this is a good looking car. The interior is in really good looking shape. Not bad at all. All right, well, let's get to diagnosing this thing. See what we're working with here. Let's get out our examining tools. I know there's no OBD2 or an OBD port, but I always check because sometimes it actually does do it on cars you wouldn't think that it would do a fuel pressure test see what we're working with here 
and eh, not terrible. You know, it's all the stuff we're going to have to replace anyways. Tire tread tester, why not? I'm going to replace the tires. Definitely going with some white walls or something cool. We'll find out what we go with. We'll see when we get there. Yeah, tires are junk. Let's check out the electric meter, multimeter here. See how the electronics are doing. This thing's got no valve covers. I just noticed that. Starter's shot, alternator and battery are in pretty bad shape. Compression tester, engine needs to be complete to perform this action. Okay, that makes sense. And I think that's all we can really do right now. Yeah, so engine needs to be complete. I don't know if I want to bother with that because this thing looks rough. And we've got some options. I noticed that the option of being able to do the... Oh, boy. My goodness. There it is. <laughs> Over here we've got options uh, for a lot of different engines. What's in it currently? The V8 one carb overhead valve. See, we could go like... What was that? Two carb overhead valve supercharged. I think that would be cool. But again, that would mess with the clean lines of this car. Don't want a big old blower hanging out of the hood. I think we'll just do the V8 two carb overhead valve. I think that'd be pretty trick for this thing. Let's get it over onto the lifter. Lifter A. So I figure we'll just start fresh. Get this engine out of here and get it gone and then build us a fresh v8 two carb overhead valve pull out oh yeah well that makes sense almost makes too much sense i'm just too excited i'm too excited to to rip into this thing. Okay, we'll get rid of the, these exhaust here. Get those gone. Give us a little bit of room. We gotta take the drive shaft off, of course. Spin around, get these here. Gonna take this starter off, the junk starter. We don't need anymore, unless we can repair it. I think there's a threshold of how bad it is that you can repair it, and it was pretty bad. And then we're not gonna, we can just leave that stuff because we're gonna get all new. Anyways, bring this back down. Pull that engine out. We don't need it anymore. Oh, we can sell it for $1,513. Yeah, I'd go to building our new, new engine. Okay, so we'll put the engine crane back to where we got it. And I think we should start pulling some stuff apart and seeing what we can and can't repair. And maybe look at the frame, see how that's all looking. So. Take the fender off. Get the body panels off. Okay, I think we unbolted pretty much everything we can unbolt. I tried to get this grill off. It doesn't seem to doesn't seem to come off. Let's try to see if we can repair the body. Let's get the welder over here. Put you over to lifter A. Then use you. Do you want to repair the Luxor Bowen for a thousand dollars? Yes, that's a bargain. Okay, you can go back to where you came from. Appreciate your work. And now we're looking at a much better situation here. Let's see if the grill cleaned it. The grill, even the grill. So it's an integral part of the body, apparently. So now we're working with a good body. Let's see if we can repair any of the other body panels that we took off. And took off, as you saw in the fast motion, took off the uh, some of the stuff under the hood. Might as well see. Oh, we can repair. Looking like we're getting good results here. Beautiful. Put some of these back on. 
That's back to 100%. Oh yeah, we don't have a door yet. We do need that. We do need that door for sure. Put the hood back on. See how these headlights came out. So they didn't come out. We weren't able to repair those to the extent that I would prefer. Uh, bumpers repaired though. That's nice. So we do need a set of headlights for this car and a door. How did the uh, bumper come out? 100%. What about tail lights? So you must be, you can't repair lights, which makes sense, I suppose. While I'm here and while I'm thinking about it, I'll just buy that stuff. Luxor. And here we are, front left door, that'd be our driver. Yep. I'm supposing we need, yep, window kit for that. Headlight, left, take that, right, take that, left tail light, indeed, right tail light, for sure. And I believe we need mirrors. I don't remember seeing, don't recall seeing mirrors on it. Yeah, there are no mirrors. Currently, I don't believe. Oh, we still got to put this door back on, which we have this door. Yeah, there was no mirror for this. And we need a uh, front right door window hey look we put the mirror on though front right door window purchased put you on put you in okay so that's in oh we need a window for back here don't we my goodness okay right body window a Let me guess it's missing on the other side too, right? We'll find out. There you go. No, it's there. Nice. Put our door on. We will need to paint that to me. Well, this is not the color we're going with. All right. That gives us, oh yeah. Duh. Need to see at night, headlight. Beautiful. And what do you know? I always forget the tail lights. If you if you've noticed my other videos, oh, tail lights. Who needs to know when we're stopping, right? So let's get on to the boring suspension work. <laughs> needs to be done though. This hub cap off. I like the white walls here, but I think they're just a little too balloony. A little too much. Pull off this caliper. Mm, brake pads. Get off of there. And we pull our brake disc. Our wheel hub bearing. Front wheel hub. Out of here. Front axle knuckle cover. Upper suspension arm. Guess you don't need the play-by-play. -play. You see what they're called. It's telling you. Front end link B. I hope you guys are doing well. I really do. Getting towards the end of summer. All things considered. Just trying to stay sane, right? Got this torn down in probably record time. And guys, you know how it goes. I'm going to complete tearing down this side, jump over to the other side, and you don't have to watch it in regular motion. You get to go in fast motion. So guys, I will see you when I see you. Okay, so that pretty much does it for the front end. We'll take this cross member out. Then we're gonna pull apart our springs and see what we can repair in this situation here over there on the repair bench. This is a pretty quick tear down on the front end. Not bad at all. Grab our spring, put our other spring on. Yep, pull you apart. So yeah, this will be, uh, this shouldn't be too bad of a job. I say that now, watch, I'll run into something. Of course I always do. Put my foot in my mouth and then let's see what we can repair here. 
get some luck. I was curious about that cross member. Nice to see it. Looks like we could repair that. Steering rack. Okay, so I'm noticing a lot of things missing from things that we couldn't repair, which is fine. Not a problem. We'll just go into our inventory and make notes of what that was. Not going to worry about the rims and tires right now. So we were able to repair a good amount of this stuff. What weren't we able to repair? The battery for sure. I, mean, I forgot about that. We'll get there when we get there. The wheel hub cap, brake caliper, stuff like this. So what we'll do is make a list by right clicking the parts that we need to replace. This much we know, right? There's always rubber bushings, always these rubber bushings. I think I have a surplus of these rubber bushings. You can never really have too many of these things. So yeah, it looks like you can't, you really can't repair suspension parts, which I think I already knew that, which is fine. So let's go shopping over to home up parts, pull up our shopping list. And it's a long one front wheel hub. You guys, I'm not going to make you sit through this. So we'll begin the fast motion. All right, looks like we got everything here. Beautiful. Clear our shopping list there. I think we got everything we needed. Let's go put our springs together. All brand new stuff here. Might as well get this out of the way. Put the spring together. And come on now, there we go. And we will start to assemble. I'm, I'm sure we, I'm sure we for, uh, forgot something, but we'll find it out when we get there. Not a problem, right? Okay, so I'm glad that cross member was able to get repaired. Sometimes I haven't I've had bad luck trying to get those repaired from one of our many rubber bushings here. And those cross members are expensive that rubber bushing I'm excited to build the engine on this thing I don't know if I've done a two carb overhead valve full build from the ground up so this will be a learning experience for me get this sway bar in oops there we go got it so far we're having good luck get our rubber bushings I didn't look at exactly how many I needed. I just bought a bunch of them because it's always good to have on hand. They're always needed. It seems like throw our spring in here and front end link B. This is coming together smooth. Of course, now that I say that, knuckle cover on here you'll have bearing you'll have cap usually I've forgotten something by now so so far I'm batting above my average here and that's that side completed Beautiful. Guys, you know how it works. I'm going to the other side, and I'll see you when the fast motion is over. Alright guys, you probably saw it in the fast motion. I was a couple of rubber bushings short and a front end link B short. Not too bad though. It's all back together now. So now we move on to, let's get these exhausts, this exhaust out of here. This is in rough shape. You, you. And then let's start tearing apart the rear end. Simple leaf spring rear, rear diff, not a problem. Come on now. There we go. 
Oh, brick drones back here. Figures. This axle out of here. Wheel cylinder off. Hub. I love how simple these leaf spring setups are. Bring you bolt. Come on now, there you are. Those can be a little tricky sometimes. Get the plate off. Oh, gotta get these rubber bushings out. Oh, that gas tank does not look healthy. Probably gonna have to buy a new fuel tank. Okay, so that's off. You know how it is. See you on the other side. I'm gonna go ahead and pull this fuel tank out. See if we can even repair that at all. These axles are rough. Looks like we can save them. That is nice. Okay. Let's see what we got here. Or is the rear end stuff? Yeah, this middle muffler is bad. So let's make a note. Add these to our list. Brake drum, brake shoes. Your shock absorber B. Small rubber bushing, small rubber bushing. A brake drum there. Wheel hub four, shock absorber B. Small rubber bushing, what do you know? We were able to bring the springs back, that's nice. Yeah, that fuel tank, not surprising there. And the fuel pump is completely shot. Shopping spree. And since we're building a hopped up motor, let's get a hopped up fuel pump. It's going to be a thirsty motor, twin carbs. All right. We're ready to put this back together here. Put in our rear drive axle. Axle housing. Fuel hub four. Put in our solid rear axle. Actually, I should have put the leaf on before. Well, it wouldn't, didn't. Give me the option, did it? Put in our small rubber bushings. Get in there, there you go. Little plate. Surprised uh, can refurbish these U-bolts. They usually get pretty stressed out. Wouldn't I wouldn't put used ones back on, even if they were shiny. But just a game, right? Or a simulator. Brake shoes. Drum. And I think that does that for that side. Put our new fuel tank in and our performance fuel pump. And while we're here, let's throw on the exhaust. I guess I should have looked. There's performance exhaust for this thing. Let's see, we would need the front exhaust pipe, V8 overhead. I'll just make parts notes about this. Well, no. Do front exhaust pipe, V8. Middle muffler, that's front exhaust pipe, V8, overhead valve C. Middle muffler, rear muffler, V8, overhead valve. Okay, well they had everything but these. So we've got the performance of the middle and rear. So we will need to put on just the stock. Ones of these guys here, the fronts. And then for here, we can do the performance. Where are they? Here they are. That one. Oh, look at that stainless, beautiful, shiny. And that one. Probably should have thought about that before I bought the other ones, but oh well. 
There we go. That looks pretty. So shiny. <laughs> Just run the pipes under the diff. Why not? <laughs> All right. Makes it easier, I suppose. Let's build an engine. Let's bring you down. I don't hate that color. It's just I'm not crazy about it either. It's not awful. I'll give it that. So let's double check before we do go any further. I just want to double check, double check. One of our, the option I want to do, V8 two carb overhead valve. I hate to build the wrong motor. Create new engine. V8 two carb overhead valve. That's our date to the dance right there. And there's our new beautiful block. So pretty. Okay, so now we're gonna have to start. I know there's a lot of performance. Let's just start shopping in the performance section first. That way, get all the performance stuff out of the way. Engine. So I got a performance alternator. I don't know if that really does anything, but we're gonna buy it. I'm just gonna type in, let's see. Let's get the fuel filter. Now oh, I'm just gonna do V8 or the overhead valve. Kind of narrow this down a little bit. Okay, I went and shopped some parts. Stuff you've already seen before, it'd get kind of repetitive if you saw it. Just the ignition distributor. This is all the performance stuff that I bought. Or it is all performance stuff that I bought. This ignition distributor cap on here. And I always forget these little clips. I'm not gonna forget them this time. Oh, I need to buy the clip. Eh, I forgot them when I was going to buy them, didn't I? Get that coil on. Need the cam gear. And the clips. Oh, I did buy a power steering pump. Performance, nonetheless. There we got our cam gear. Get these little clips on here. There you are. Oh, I only bought one. There we go. It's tricky because I, I have to go buy parts bit by bit because I'm not 100% sure which ones I need. If you guys have any tips on that. Water pump pulley, I do not have that. Uh, Cause I'm not sure which overhead valve, cause there's overhead valve I, overhead valve this, that, and the other thing. Serpentine belt, V8 overhead valve, and we need a water pump pulley. And we'll need another serpentine belt there. But see, again, I'm not sure which one I'll need. I have to go put some of this, maybe that's just how it's done. I've never done an engine from the ground up. That's a different engine that came out of it. You know what I mean? So. Yeah, just going bit by bit, so be a lot of fast forwarding here. Okay, well at least I managed to get the front of the engine built. That's really the harder part for me, not knowing what, what needs to go there. As far as the internals, that's a little bit easier, uh, in my opinion. So let's rotate this thing. Rotate. Rotate. And we will need... Pistons and push rod. I think I have push rods. I think I have an extra full set of push rods. So I'm gonna go buy some pistons from the performance shop. Okay, getting these pistons installed. And they are the performance pistons. I do need to get a V8 overhead valve oil pan and a filter. We'll get this all tidied up under here. Where are you now, V8? Overhead valve. And then, is there a performance oil filter? I do not recall. I don't think there is actually. No, nope, just fuel filter, performance fuel filter. Go grab oil filter.
V8 overhead valve oil filter. Beautiful. On you go. Beautiful. Get this thing rotated. That's not what I want. Get on the engine stand. There we go. This is looking pretty with all the shiny parts and the red parts and whatnot. Part mount. We're going to need the overhead valve. Let's see. I didn't know because there's different, uh, different engine heads for the overhead valve. They're just, I was just kind of guessing. I know that they probably sell performance head. Just make this easier. There we go. See, because there's all these different ones for V8 overhead valve. I didn't know which one I needed. That's the old classic. Get a set of those. $1,440. My goodness, and I will need the the uh, valve covers for that and the rockers. I don't know if they have rockers in here. Nope. Go over here and grab those. A rocker, no plural, rocker arm. 16. Engine head cover is what they call it. A, B. See, see that? I don't know. Yes, A is. That's the tricky part, it seems. Get you on there. Bolt you down. And I know I have push rods. I thought I could have sworn I had push rods, extra push rods laying around. Well, at least I know the exhaust manifold V8 overhead valve. We will need spark plugs, push rods, got the rockers. And I know they have the performance spark plugs. So we'll go here for that. There we go. Eight of them bad boys. Put in our... Push rods. One by one. So what'd you do on your summer vacation? I didn't do much of nothing either. Made YouTube videos. How about that? Been pretty nice. I mean, considering... 2020 in all its glory. I can't complain too much, I suppose. Get out there. Eh, seems I bought the wrong ones. Valve cover B. See, herein lies the problem. Might as well put the uh, manifold on. These are more headers than manifold, but they call it manifold in here. Get our little spark plugs in. But it'd be cool if it gave you like a shopping list of the stuff that you would need. I mean, because that would make sense. It doesn't like have... It'd be cool to like be able to build that. Maybe you can. Maybe you guys know more than I do on that. Because this thing does change, this game does change, and I don't always read the notes on what's been updated and stuff like that, and I don't know the game totally inside and out. Cover B. Overhead valve, I should have typed in OHV, I suppose. There's head cover G. Head cover B. Overhead valve J. That's not it. I went right by it, didn't I? You guys are probably screaming at me. Oh, well, that one. Okay. Engine head cover B overhead valve D. B overhead valve G. B overhead V8. Isn't that the one I bought? Isn't that the one it asked for? <laughs> I guess I didn't buy the right one. Oh, man. I tell you some days. 
Okay, I already built this side so you guys know how it goes. Fast forward the other side. Okay, not sure which carburetors I need. I wouldn't looked at them, but there's a bunch of different ones for overhead valve. But I did get the performance intake, which is nice. And I went ahead and bought the performance flywheel. Go ahead and put this stuff on now. Clutch plate. Pressure plate. And then I just got a standard. Can I get to the throw out bearing? Oh, there it is. All right, so that's on there. So I will need just carburetor four barrel. See, there's, I'll show you what I'm talking about. Go to carbs and four barrel. That's the one I need. But then there's V8 over red valve F, F, V8 over valve H, E, and all this. Yes. I'm sure there's a way to know. And I'm just overseeing it. But if you guys have any tips, again, it would be greatly appreciated. So again, I didn't know if I would need what I would need here. So it's round air filter base two carb. check to see if they have the round air filter two carb and the performance two carb they do beautiful you are going on top are we forgetting anything or is this engine complete I mean it looks good I'll give it that. It's quite nice. So let's go get our engine stand, bring it on over here. Our engine stand, engine crane. Bring it on over here. Take this. And we pick it up by hand because that makes so much sense. Take from engine crane. Or shake from engine stand. Man, I, guys, I tell you. It's in. Beautiful. I don't even know if we needed that. So we definitely, before I forget, I'm just going to do this now. If I can do what I'm trying to do. I don't want to forget that. Okay. Okay. Got oil. Good to know. You've got to attach our gearbox. And I can't remember if that one was repairable or got repaired or what it was on that one. I don't want to see the interior. It doesn't look like we need a whole lot on the, in on the interior. Yep. We need a new gearbox and a starter nonetheless. Here we go again. V8 overhead valve, this, that, the other thing. I'm going to go make a guess. Gearbox V8 overhead valve. If I'm wrong, it's going to cost me. Hey, I was right. And I forgot to buy a starter. <laughs> this will tell us. Starter V8. Do they have a performance starter? I never checked. No.
get you in there and I just remembered I believe we need a battery I don't think we were able to repair that and the drive shaft this drive shaft is in can we put the battery in from under here we can hey what do you know brake booster accessible from engine bay I can't remember if that was repaired or not either excited to start picking out the wheels and tires for this thing Let's see. Yep, we were able to repair that. Awesome. And the radiator. Did we repair that? Yes, we sure did. Nice. Okay. That looks pretty good to me. Wheels and tires. Shut the hood for now. That's going to help us decide. I obviously want to go for something pretty classic. I think this is what it had on it but not sure I'm feeling that totally It'd be cool if you could paint the rims because if it did if I, I could do like one of these and like a 20 inch do like a hoopty mob steel style or something like that but uh, this is kind of cool this is retro it's better than that and can we get them let's see how big can we go with them? Oh, we can go. We can go ridiculous with them. Uh, I think something like a 20 inch would fill that really nice. You know, kind of go for that low rider type and then get a, a smaller sidewall tire. That might look good. Let's try it. Then let's shop for some tires. Definitely think the white wall thing would work very well for this. Can we get these in a 20? We can. The width 135, that is a skinny little guy. Let's say 225 profile, 20, that's tiny. Say like a 45? Let's see what that looks like. Well, that might be a little tall considering how big our rims are. Hmm. Maybe somewhere in the middle 40. Let's try it. It'd be cool if it gave you like a preview and you could kind of see what you're working with. Put that on there. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Good guess. Well done. Balance that. So they're just small enough. They're big enough where it looks good. And they're just small enough where it'll kind of keep the ride height a little lower. We have our tires. Let us install. No, oh, that's good. That is good. You might not like it. I like it. It's classy, classy, classic, but not too grandma. You know what I mean? Now I'm starting to think of what color we're going to paint this thing. Like a pearl white or something. I don't know, talking about grandma. That looks good. Let's see it on the ground. Nope. That's the opposite of the ground. Forgot to hold it down. I dig it. I think it looks good. I 
I'm going to move it over to entrance A, get in and see if there's anything in the interior. Oh, that looks good. If there's anything in the interior that looks overly, it all looks good. It said that the interior was, let's see what it says. Oh, interior, yeah, interior condition 86%. What is, what is front window 71, rear window 71? Is that, no, that's, that's exterior. I don't know, let's try it though. Front window, rear window, that there. Now let's take a look. 86%. Well, at least it needed to get replaced anyways. It must be the steering wheel because I see it's a little bit, see a few marks on it. Okay, I can't repair it. See what we got for options down here. I kind of like the stock. Ooh, that's classy. That's super classy. Let's do that one. Although it said that that steering wheel was 92%, so it might be something else. We'll see. Yeah, that's not what I wanted. Interior still 86%. I forgot about this. Was it this or this? There it is. Completely forgot. Use equipped. Yes. Okay. That looks cleaner. 100%. <laughs> Global body condition, 90%. What am I missing there? Left body window A, bench Bowen rear. Well. Got to replace it, I suppose. Okay, got that taken care of. Can't repair this bench seat, can I? Nope. I mean, it's so close that I really shouldn't worry about it, but it's kind of one of those things, pet peeve, like, get it, get it all 100%. There we go. It's only 250 bucks. It's not too bad, considering. There. Where are we at now? 100. Are you serious? Okay. <laughs> it's gonna drive me crazy, guys. Seat leather. Seat three leather D. And seat three leather D. You guys, three hundred bucks for one, or two hundred fifty bucks for the front bench seat. Bench seats are cooler, anyways. I think on cruisers like this, definitely on like muscle cars and stuff, definitely buckets. But I'll take the bench seat on a cruiser. Then you got your lady right up next to you and whatnot. Oh, it only lets me put in. Yeah, it's only going to let me do that. Wasted a few bucks there, but whatever. Suppose it is what it is. Don't get a bench seat. So I'm not going to, not too worried about seeing this one go then. Because if I had a car like this, I'd want the bench seat. Are we there now? I keep hitting that. 
fat fingers, I tell you. I don't really have fat, fat just butter fingers, maybe. Car's that is 90. Uh, rear license plate, front license plate. Can that really be it? What state do we want to pick? Or even country for that matter. Hmm. Scenic Idaho it is. Two. License plate number. Mmm, tacos. I like tacos. Mmm, tacos. <laughs> I'm hungry. I was actually just thinking about tacos when I was trying to come up with a uh, plate. Like, it is what, that's, that's what it's going to be. Did that do it? It did it! <laughs> Hundreds across the board. Now should we test this thing out? Let's see if she'll run. Let's take her to uh, move car. Come on now. Take her to the dyno. See if you fire up. It's usually something I've forgotten. Yes. Oh, I didn't. Okay, so stock. It's 330 horsepower over 579 newmans of torque. Let's see what we end up with. With all those performance upgrades. Six thirty-five over one thousand eighty-seven. Definitely respectable. Look at that—an eighty-seven point seven gain, ninety-two point two percent gain. There, almost doubled it. Just about. Awesome. That is a fast little cruiser, that's for sure. Let's take it to just for the heck of it, the test path. Just so we know, we've done. Dotted all our T's, crossed all our I's, whatnots. Just all the way across the shop. Yes, let's proceed. Proceed. I do like that steering wheel. That's cool. Press and hold and brake. 100%. So what I'm shooting for. Press and hold and brake. 100%. This is a cool interior. It'd be a lot cooler with a bench seat, if you ask me. Checking the suspension. Why do they have all the way over there two AC ducts right next to each other? That's odd. 100%. 100%. Everything looks good. What are we going to paint it? Got to do something pretty custom. That color in the matte looks pretty cool. The pearl. The chameleon. The chrome. That's definitely wild. The matte is cool, but we did matte on the C10 just recently. The pearl, the chameleon. I, I haven't done chameleon before. I'm digging this kind of bluish color. It works well with the white walls and the chrome and everything. Let's do it. That's cool. Oh, I dig it. Let's put you out into the regular light of the garage. See what that looks like. As you guys know, I will repaint a car again if I'm not totally happy with it. Oh, that is cool. I meant to put you in the... Let's move you over here. Ah, oh, yes. That chameleon is cool. It's not, like, overdone. 
works well. Okay, let's make sure I didn't forget what I typically forget. Headlights are in. Mirrors on. Brake lights, taillights, all good. Mmm, tacos, it's there. Cool. Let's test it. Bandon Airport it is. Looks our boatin'. See how drivable this thing is. That's a lot of torque for such a land yacht. You might just want to spin the rear end right around. We'll see. And here we are. Floor it. Oh, not too bad. It's <laughs> a big car. I bet it J turns awesome. We got room? Not really. Maybe. It sure does. <laughs> this thing is awesome. I really like this car. Wish it had a bench seat, but I'm not going to get too hung up on it. Well, obviously I kind of am as much times as I've mentioned it. Let's uh, go to the speed track and see what it does. It even goes in a straight line well. Okay, here we go. Bounce it off that limiter. Why not? It does track straight. We're having all that power. All that torque, I should say, really. We're going to top out. Probably getting pretty close to it. Still climbing. 200 and... Oh, right at 243, 44, 40... 244 kilometers per hour. Tops out. And this is what that converts to in miles per hour. Let's see what she does with the old test track. Because I really like this car. Here we go. Oh, yeah, it's a little squirrely under hard acceleration. And it's definitely a heavy car. Oh, you feel it. You feel the weight, even though it's keyboard, <laughs> keyboard cat in the air. Oh, it's a heavy car. Over the bumps. It just wants to step out under hard acceleration. Which makes sense, considering the amount of torque and power this thing has. Into the braking zone. It's going to take a lot to stop it. Eh, a little. It's a little. Hit the brakes a little early on that one. All right, let's see what we can sell this thing for. See what we actually get out of it. Yep, everything's 100%. I didn't crash it. Everything's good. It says mm, tacos on the license plate. I'm a happy camper. All right, car status. Let's sell the car. Car value, 64,000. Restoration bonus, 12,800. So, I'm trying to remember what we bought it for. I think it was around like 14,000 or something like that. See what we actually get? 76,800. Yeah. Okay. Actually, I'm curious. I've always just said yes immediately. If I say no and do it again, will it be a different number? So that was 76,800. 76,800. No. So I was curious if it would be so cool if it worked on like a bidding system. If you could take it to the auction and get sell it at the auction. That would be a huge thing for this game. So we've sold it. We now have $283,943. We started with this amount, leaving us with a profit of not too bad. I'll take it. I'm only guessing, guys. I don't know what the profit. I figured this out mathematically later. Um, I'm guessing we made a few bucks, maybe a few thousand, maybe a couple ten thousand. Who knows? You know, I don't. Anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching. I appreciate it. The support has been amazing. The amount of you guys subscribing, it's truly humbling. Uh, I really appreciate it. We'll be doing a lot more of this uh, Car Mechanic Simulator 2018 because I really, really enjoy playing it. And it seems like you guys really enjoy following along this game. So, guys, as always, I appreciate it so much. And I'll see you in the next one.